Good day and welcome to Kitty's Corner. Today I want to do a product review on a formula milk and the reason is not because I'm getting paid, I'm not, but I want to do this because this formula milk literally changed my family's lives. Now before I do the review, I would like to just give you a bit of a background story so that you can understand why I had to use this formula milk. It is a very big shock if you want to do a natural birth, breastfeeding and all these wonderful things for your baby and then you end up with an emergency c-section two weeks before your baby is supposed to come. Unfortunately with the emergency birth there were a lot of complications. One of them was a baby that had colic. Colic and mother stress go hand in hand. The more you stress the bigger your baby's chances are of having colic and it can actually make colic worse. One of the complications with the emergency c-section was that i was not able to produce milk and i'm highly allergic to the espiride pills that they normally give you in hospital to bring your milk about my firstborn was a colic baby for nine months and within that nine months i tried many different formulas and eventually used isomol which had the least amount of impact on my baby unfortunately and those that use isomol will know it doesn't smell good and it stains everything because my baby really struggled and i was permanently giving her pain medication i started doing research about the formula milk in south africa and i saw that most of them contain gmo products now if you don't know what a genetically modified organism is i would suggest that you do some research on that it's really not a healthy ingredient Unfortunately, here in South Africa, our staple food is a GMO. So most of South African foods actually contain GMOs and it's already been proven to be very unhealthy to the body. A lot of countries actually banned it. After we determined that it wasn't an allergy that caused the colic in my eldest, I found research that suggested that organic formula milk is something that can help with colic. And now to cut my story short, the review I want to do today is on hip combiotic formula milk. This milk contains prebiotics and probiotics and it helps with your baby's gut microbiome. Because of the pre and probiotics, it's much closer to breast milk. And this means that the baby is less likely to have reflux and also it will help with colic. The only time when it will not help with reflux is if you have a problem with the vagus nerve. If your baby has a pinched vagus nerve, it doesn't matter what type of milk you will give them, they will not get better. You might ask, but how did it change my family's life? When I finally tracked down the hip combiotic, I gave it to my baby and within two weeks, her colic was gone. Not less, gone. This meant that my husband, I and the baby slept better. Because we slept better, we felt better. Because we felt better, we actually started enjoying having a baby in the house. So yes, it really changed my family. Unfortunately, hip combiotic is a little bit difficult to find in South Africa because it's imported from Germany. But it's not impossible. There are some pharmacies that sell it. You will also definitely be able to order it online. And yes, it is very expensive. At this moment, I pay about 370 rand a ton, and they're about 100 rand more expensive at some of the other places. Being a mom, whether it's of one child or many children, we all know that we need sleep, and sleep is the one thing that we do not have. So when you have a product that can help your baby sleep better, lessen colic, lessen reflux, then obviously it's worth the money. In the video description, I will list a few links where you will be able to find this product online. If you still need that last bit of convincing, I just want to read a little inscription here on the tin. It says, Hip Organic has more than 60 years of experience in premium baby food. The company owners personally guarantee the highest quality. Our standard exceeds EU organic standards. Mommies and daddies, this is really an excellent product. I know it's expensive, but I wish we can get all the babies on this milk. It's really such a good milk. Not only is it closer to breast milk, it even tastes a lot like breast milk. 
Now, if you are judging me right now, then either you're not a parent or you are lying to yourself or someone else. Because, come on, we all wanted to know what it tastes like. Maybe something else that I should also mention is that none of my children, since being on Combiotic, ever had constipation. Never. But I've decided to eventually use this milk for all my children, regardless if they had colic or reflux or whatnot. My second year old had reflux, but her reflux was because of a pinched nerve. So even when we gave her the Combiotic, it didn't work. So we tried a lot of other things. And only when we got to the Cairo, we saw that it was because of the pinched vagus nerve. And once that was loosened, she was able to drink milk as normal. And we also put her on Combiotic. Mommies and daddies, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. I'm just telling you from my experience, after trying many different formulas, having a child that was constantly on pain medication just so that she could sleep a little bit. If you are a mom of a colic baby, you will know how tired you get, how frustrated you get, how helpless you feel, how absolutely overwhelming it can be especially if you're a first time mom your baby is not supposed to be in so much pain and you you get to a point of resentment because you just feel like how on earth are you able to look after this tiny person if you are sleep deprived if you are tired if you're frustrated if you see your baby's hurting and you can't do anything about it i know i'm being dramatic now but actually i'm not a, a mother that has or had a colic baby will understand and they will try anything to make it better and like i say i'm not reviewing this product because i'm getting money i'm not i'm reviewing this product because i know I know the pain, I know the frustration, I know the sleepless nights, I know that absolutely helpless feeling, that overwhelmed feeling. And I'm hoping that this silly video might help some mommy out there to just cope a little bit better. If you are watching this video, then I believe it's because you are looking for help. And I really hope that this will help you. And because you are trying to get help, just know that you are doing the best job that you possibly can. As a mother, we sometimes feel as failures. We feel like we're not good enough. But mommy, if you are putting in this effort, it means you are good enough. It means you are going the extra mile. And just to get real for a moment, I know it's expensive, but it's just for a short time in your baby's life. Isn't it worth cutting something else in your life out so that your baby can have the best? And I also hope that I will raise awareness towards the use of GMOs because I absolutely hate it. I hate the fact that we walk into a shop and we think we buy healthy fruits and vegetables for our children and it's not because it's genetically modified. It has been proven it's unhealthy for our bodies. I'm only one person. And it's not going to make a difference. But maybe I can just influence one other person to do the research. To see how bad the GMOs really are. And to get that stuff off our shelves. We've got wonderful, excellent formula molds in South Africa. But as soon as they put the GMO products in. The GMO soya, the GMO whatever. It, it stuffs up the product. It's bad for our babies. It's unhealthy for our babies. Okay, I've babbled enough. May Abba bless you and your family. This is supposed to be a wonderful time in your life. But even if you are tired and even if you are frustrated, just know, doing research, looking for a solution means that, Mommy, you are doing a good job. Unfortunately, with the emergency birth, there were a couple of uncomplicated things. <laughs> no, they were very complicated. <laughs> now, to anyone who's either a first mom or a mom of multiple children, you'll know that sleep is the most important thing that we do not have. 
at this stage. We all want more sleep. I'm not a medical doctor and I'm not giving a medical, a medical advice. What is a medical advice? I don't even know. I, I don't know. Yeah.